Hello, everyone. So we are doing an interview today with Desiree, who will be working with us uh, at Light Club to do a intuition masterclass coming up in uh, about a week and a half or so on May 30th. So today's interview is going to be just about what the workshop's about and a little bit about intuition and any little tips you can provide us today. Um, so I'll let you introduce yourself. Go for it. Hi, everyone. That's my dog. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm Desiree. I'm an intuitive reader an energy worker and a teacher. And I'm really passionate about teaching spiritual tools, which are also scientific tools, they're metaphysical tools, it all overlaps, right? So we all are made of energy, we're all, we all are made of light, and that light and energy assembles itself into the physical, which is our physical body, our physical surroundings, events, and it also is in charge of what we attract in our life in the form of situations and people so we want to be attracting situations and people that are helpful to our intention because as many of you probably know we are constantly manifesting we're constantly attracting something but we want to be attracting what we want intentionally and intuition gives us the solutions <laughs> <laughs> i love it gives us the solutions the advice and the very specific thorough and detailed steps to align with that desired reality in the most direct path the most direct way so with business with vocation with life purpose that is really important right i mean it's important in any area of life but in our vocation we we don't want to be wasting time we don't want to miss opportunities. We don't want to be burned out and at a loss as to what steps to take or if we're making the right decision or how long it's going to take to have enough money for something or how to make the money that we need, who can help us achieve something and how to find that person. And intuition gives us all those answers. So it saves time. It gives us a sense of, of certainty and trust. It brings flow into our life that's where it, it adds a new meaning to the word uh, workflow right we we just get into a, a very synchronistic a very enchanted way of life that is just full of ease and full of clarity so we're, we're living a very clear lifestyle of uh, intuitively led action that leads to what we want in the most efficient way I love it. And um, yeah, I'd like to define it for people as like intuition really is it's the meaning behind your feelings, right? It's like, what are these feelings and the things that are coming out of you to like help you take inspired action? And I'm yeah. struggling sometimes myself with like, I mean, it shows up in my life sometimes, but sometimes I'm like, like, hey, is it, I'm looking for it. And hey, like, how can I like tap into this more? So I think we're going to do that on the workshop. But do you have any um, tips or tools that people can take away that can get them started down this path and then also like what we'll be learning in the workshop yeah well it's really important that we can differentiate between emotions and thoughts that are coming from our opinions our belief systems our past experiences some of which could be pleasant but some of which could be past trauma some of which could be projections they could be uh, thoughts and emotions that we've adopted from family or from the collective, from society. It could also be thoughts and emotions from our, our expectations, right? Our, our desires, and that can all cloud our intuition. So you said it's a meaning behind emotion and that's 100% true. We're also going to be learning how to differentiate between that pure, clear insight that is intuition and the emotions that actually come from past programming which actually get in the way of that's important. yes because that's where i struggle actually i think i don't know what's coming from external like i yeah. we, we just did a live stream and i talked about like at one point i had this undeniable feeling of you're doing a good job it was a feeling first and then went into my head as a thought that I knew was coming from somewhere else, but I don't often have that. So if you have any tips on how to like have that more often, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Well, 
what I can say about the first thing that's coming to me about that is that whenever you have a heightened emotion that has any kind of stress risk, well, stress can also be be a very useful guiding guiding factor. But I would say in general, when you are speaking or receiving something and feeling feeling fear at the same time or feeling annoyance or feeling judgment or feeling a feeling a, a, a thought that if you're really honest with yourself you can realize it's coming from experience like maybe you went maybe you're giving advice to someone or you're giving advice to yourself based on a past relationship that that was painful for you and so you're you're taking that past experience and you're then forming an an opinion about a future situation because of your past experience but intuition I'll I'll tell you what intuition is and then it'll be easier <laughs> to identify what it's not. Intuition is free of judgment. You're you're never going to intuitively look at anyone and be like, "Oh, I don't like that person or oh, they're bad or or they're wrong." Okay? Intuition you will be able to tap into other people and often how they're feeling, often what it's like to to be them and that might include a, some comfortable experiences and feelings and some experiences and feelings of discomfort, but it's really just radical empathy. It's really just in a completely neutral, non-judgmental, unconditionally loving way, tapping into the experience of another person by putting on their shoes, so to speak. And then you can do the same thing with yourself. You're viewing yourself in a completely unconditionally loving, non-judgmental, higher consciousness way. So whatever that. assessment you're making about yourself or about your life, you're going to you're going to know that it's intuitive because it's it's not an opinion. It's not a belief. It's not coming from past experience. It's not coming from judgment. It's not coming from frustration or anger or worry. You're going to feel a deep sense of of love around it and of of peace and and knowing and uh, that's what you were expressing in the story that you told in the in the IG live when you were at that event and you felt that sensation of like very spontaneous sensation of of love and support in your heart you you just you knew you knew that it was true yeah. it wasn't that you had a thought first and then it created an emotion it was something that you received and then you interpreted it after that yes so mm -hmm. So that's what intuition is going to be like too. You're going to, the, the order that I like to give and that I like to train people and getting really, really good at is we receive information and it's spontaneous. It's often unexpected. I'll give you the structure and the prompts to be able to at will be able to ask for information and get it. But it's often it's often going to happen synchronistically and spontaneously when you most need it as well. So we receive information constantly and we receive it when we ask for it within a very short amount of time. And then we're going to need to we're going to need to interpret it. And then after we interpret it, we're going to be able to apply it in our life. So actually, let's do a really, really quick exercise right now. To sure. give you an example of this, so I want you to I want you to find a piece of paper. If you okay. there you, you go, got, you got yep. it. <laughs> and uh, you're just gonna you can do actually yeah let's do let's do four different questions. So we're gonna fold it twice so that you have four equal squares. Okay. And this isn't gonna take take too long, but it's just gonna be a really good example of just one psychic sense we're going to use we're going to use vision we're going to use clairvoyance let me so break this into four pieces like cut it yeah so just cut up the four pieces of paper so they all look exactly the same so you can't tell which is which 
And this is so that we can do a blind intuitive exercise. When we do intuitive exercises blindly, which means we don't know which question we're answering, it ensures that we are not manipulating it with our thoughts and emotions, which is what I was talking about before, about the, the expectations, the fears, the desires, etc. Okay. So I, I want you to write down, we're not going to answer all of these now, but I want you to write down four different questions and it can be anything. It can be, it can, what can I do to create more abundance in my business this month? It could be, how do I improve my relationship with my, and it could be a family member or a lover. It could be, what can I expect to happen in my life in the next 30 days? Okay. okay. So it could be advice. It can be predictive, whatever you want, have fun with it. So we'll just take a, a minute to do that. So now we're gonna fold, and I, I did these really fast, so you may not be done writing them all, <laughs> which is okay. But when you're done, we're just gonna we're gonna fold them up equally, so they all look exactly the same, and you can't see what question is written in them. Okay. All right. So do that. Okay, so I have four pieces of paper. Yeah, oh, so you just you fold up. them up. I folded them up twice so they, they all are this size and they all look exactly the same. Okay, I'm the same. One more. Okay. This is the part that takes the longest. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you an example of receiving, interpreting, and applying information. And we're gonna use visions. We're gonna mix up all these pieces of paper. So there's no way you know which one is which. Okay. And then we're gonna give them a number. So just write one, two, three, four on each one. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna, we're not gonna answer all four right now because it'll take a long time. If you want, after you watch this video, you can you can answer the rest of them blindly for yourself but for now we're just going to choose number one okay. and just grab a grab a notebook or you know anything to write with let me see here we go okay so i want you to just hold your question number one and just close your eyes for a second and just set the intent i choose to answer question number one with my intuition i choose to Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's all you have to do. Okay. And then on your piece of paper, I want you to just write down the first vision that comes to mind. It could be a picture of a color, it could be an animal, it could be a scene, whatever it is that pops up in your mind first, and just write it down. And just notice what it's doing.
I don't know. I'm struggling, but I'm going to see. Okay. Don't worry. Just even if it's super simple. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So write that down. Now we're just going to, we're going to look at how to interpret it. Okay. So you got a vision, you got a picture that popped up in your mind. How would you interpret it? How would you translate it? What, what do you associate that with and how does it feel? Just write down the first thing that comes to you about that. Okay. Okay. And then the last part of this is the application. So how can I apply this to my life? It may overlap with the interpretation and that's okay. If you feel like eh, nothing more is necessary for the application, then you can, you can skip it, but, but just see if you can, if you can get anything about how to apply this information to your life, even before you know what the question is. Okay. Okay. So now, I mean, this is a very, very simple way of doing this in the class. I'll teach you how to go a lot deeper and more detailed, but now we're just going to look at what question you answered. So we're going to open it up and I'll okay. give you an example of, of mine. <clears throat> okay. So my question is how can I be at my highest levels of health? Okay. So I, immediately got a vision of a hot air balloon rising it was a clear day there were no obstacles and something that was interesting to me is that there was a starry sky so it was it was at night and there was a starry sky and the hot air balloon was rising and that is unusual usually you think of a hot air balloon rising during the day so the message behind that is that it it doesn't fit it's it's actually enhanced and it's different and the the ground beneath it was completely fertile so that's letting me know that my that there are no obstacles in my health at the moment which is true right i'm, I'm very grateful and, and fortunate to be in perfect health right now so it's it's very true there are no obstacles and also the message came through very clearly of it's enhanced and it's different so that's letting me know that my health is not only fine, but it's actually it's actually enhanced. It's actually like extra vibrant and uh, and uh, and also it's it's different, which to me feels like it, it has to do with my uh, uniqueness or originality or uh, unconventional unconventional energy, you could say. Yeah. And, and the fertile ground, I feel like, is nourishment. Like, I'm very nourished. I'm very supported in my health. Then, for how to interpret it, I wrote taking off profitable endeavors, um, good relationships, love bonding. So that, that to me lets me know that my, my health and uh, consequently happiness are supported by this this elevation, like the sense of taking off, of moving forward with, with these endeavors, with uh, new positive relationships in my life. And then for how to apply it, I got, it, it was very along the lines of the, this message of no obstacles and, and just continue to, to keep going on this path. I got continue to move forward with your endeavors. It will lead to success and love, family, community, uh, and, and money. So obviously all uh, areas of life are connected and enjoying this sense of, of health and vibrant energy and is an indication of other areas of my life being in alignment 
and also synergistically if i continue to move forward in the the prospects that i'm cultivating right now it also continues to support my health okay I love it. yeah so so that's that's just an example of a, a very very simple way that you can do a reading with the, specifically the psychic tool of vision if you want because you don't know what your two three and four are yet so after this call you or after this video you guys can can do the same exact exercise with the other ones and see what you get for for each question is there anything you want to share about what you got patrick i don't i didn't feel super in tuned but i could see like how um this would work and how i can apply it to my life for sure mm -hmm. and i can I, afterwards i was thinking of my head more but afterwards, like I started to feel like, okay, if this is what I chose, then like this is this would be a line. So I, I'm still working on it, which is why we're going to do the, uh, the the class and like learn exactly. a lot. We're going to learn to trust our instincts. We're going to learn to go with our first first impression because it's always right. And uh, the interpretation is the hardest part for people usually. And I can, I, I, anytime you get stuck, I can help you help you move through it. So. Awesome. Well, uh, very much looking forward to this class. It'll be May 30th uh, during the, I think, the new moon. Is that right? Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. And um, it'll be a really special workshop um, and hopefully the first of many uh, collaborations with Light Club because um, I love what you're doing and helping people feel more confident and, and trust their intuition more is uh, definitely, uh, I think, very important for us all to step into our power. So thank you thank for you so uh, much. For sure. Um, you want to, anything, how do people contact you or what exactly you do with your clients? Uh, please, uh, please let us know. Yeah, absolutely. So I do 30 minute and one hour private sessions with clients in which I do very in-depth intuitive readings on, on you. And, uh, I also do energy work, which sometimes is sometimes takes a form in my classes. It takes a form of a a really relaxing guided visualization, which I'm actually doing energy work on you as well. In private sessions, it takes a form more of guided support with manifesting in combination with with intuition. So I use my intuitive abilities to help you manifest what you want in the quickest, most direct way and to to release what could be in the way of that and uh, to help to help reprogram limiting beliefs to help shift out of heavy, painful past experiences into the kinds of more expansive, pleasurable, fulfilling experiences you want to grow into now and in the future. So I do that in private sessions and uh, I offer a couple classes per week. One is called Ask Source Energy, which is a group reading in which I answer individual questions for everyone in the group. And that's on Mondays at 6.30 p.m. PST. And then on Tuesdays, I have a class called Channeled Source Energy Healing, which is a channeled healing that comes through from Source Energy, which is the highest energy of unconditional love of, of consciousness that we can tap into. And I will look at each person in the group and what they need. And then I channel a healing from that higher consciousness specifically tailored to everyone in the group. So it's always different. And I never know what I'm going to do until we're all together because all of our intentions come together to, to evoke that healing for our highest good. And, uh, and then I also have my, my favorite, <laughs> I don't want to say favorite. I love all of it, but my intuitive reader training is designed to empower you to be able to do readings in pretty much every way possible with every psychic sense imaginable. And uh, obviously it's it's something that I stand behind that I'm very passionate about and that I think can absolutely change the world and raise the frequency of the world if we were all empowered with our intuition, making decisions from that unconditionally loving, neutral, clear space. I think it would uh, it would eliminate judgment and it would eliminate projection and it would eliminate competition and hostility between us in the world and so i believe that it really is a unifying force that contributes to peace that continues to understanding contributes to understanding and it really aids us in in everything we could possibly want to improve in our life uh, relationships success love health all of it so you can find me at desireelands.com or my instagram which is also desiree lands or you can email me at info at desireelands.com.
Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to it and I uh, look forward to seeing you very soon. And I will definitely want to join the healing session very soon too. So thank you for it. telling us all these things and uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, everybody. Right, bye. bye.